Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to tear a cloth. So first we'll take a geometry and inside that we'll take a planar patch. So we'll make some changes in this planar patch uh, so that we will decrease the size here. So just I will put the value to like 0 0.7 or something and I will increase the resolution of this thing. So just if you want to increase the resolution, we can go to this option edge length. So we can decrease and after that we will take an edge fracture node. Uh, so select this edge fracture. And just will connect this. So this node is used to uh, like create the pieces of this cloth here. Uh, so if you uh, enable this primitive faces and if you click on this, so see now it has been randomly created different pieces. And also if you want to increase and decrease the number of pieces here, you can see there is an option like uh, you can increase and decrease the number of pieces here. So for time being, I will put like uh, like 13 pieces. And also if you want to see it properly, we can take an explore view explode view and we can connect this and just we can enable see now the it has been created the different pieces according to the number which you have given in this edge fracture here now next we'll add an vellum configure cloth here so just i will take an vellum configure cloth and we'll connect this and just we will enable now, after taking this vellum cloth, we need to create a pins here. Uh, so suppose if I go to this planar patch and if I, if you see here, there is an option like left seam. So we have to enable this and here in the vellum cloth, if you scroll down, there is an option called like pin to animations. So if you select this like planar patch, now what the thing is, see it has been created some group. Now, whenever we simulate this part will be stay in the same position and the remaining cloth will fall down. So according to that, it will create the pieces. And now next we need to take a vellum solver. Uh, so just for this, we'll take a vellum solver. And just will connect to this. And I will enable this. And now we'll see how it will work. Uh, so just we'll click on this play. So see now this part of the cloth is staying in the same position as we have created the pin using this planar patch group. So what the thing is now, whenever we click on this play, it's going to start tearing. So we don't want to tear in the initial state. Uh, so we want to tear after when we apply in some sort of forces. So we want to hold the cloth for a while. So in order to do that, we can take a node called vellum well points so we need to select this and we need to connect in between this vellum plot and vellum solver so now see if i enable this see now it has been stitched a stitcher near to the points where it has been disconnected and now we'll go to the vellum solver and we'll see how it will work so now you can see the all the pieces has been connected with each other by using this vellum well node so now we need to create the uh, wind force here. So in order to do that, we have to go inside this vellum solver. So we need to double click and we need to take a node called pop force. Uh, so, so just we'll search for pop force. So select this and connect here. And now we have to give the wind direction. Uh, means like, see, suppose if you select this pop force here, you can see there is an option called force. So uh, we can decide the axis on which we want to create the wind. Uh, so let's say we'll create on the x-axis. So let's say we'll put like uh, 10 or something and we can increase the amplitude. Uh, it is nothing but the strength. So now we'll go outside and now we will see this. So if we click on this play, so see now the wind is playing towards the x direction, but still uh, it is not tearing. So now what the thing is, whenever we click on play with the help of this force, uh, we need to like break into pieces. Uh, so in order to do that, in if you go to this vellum switch and if you come down, there is an option called like breaking. So we have to enable this. And now we'll see this, uh, click on this play. I think we don't have the enough force. So see here, uh, some part of the cloth has been teared up. So just we will enable, uh, we will increase the force. Uh, so just in order to increase this force, we can go to the vellum solver and we can select this pop force and we'll increase the force. Uh, so let's say we'll uh, place the value to like 20. And also the wind direction is going towards the Z direction. Uh, so actually we have changed the value in the Z. So instead of Z, we can uh, place the value to X. So let's say we'll put up to like 30 or something. And now we'll go. And now just we'll click on this play. So still we need more force. Uh, so if I double click and let's say we can put it like 
hundred or something. So see now it has been separated. So what the thing is, it depends on the force. Uh, it will tear the cloth. Uh, so I think hundred is more. Uh, so let's say we'll put up to like sixty or something, and we'll go back and just we will see this. So see now. And also, uh, instead of increasing the force, we can use this threshold value. Uh, for example, if I go to, for example, if I select this vellum switch and if I use this threshold, let's say if I decrease to 0 0.05 and I will uh, decrease the force. Uh, so if I go inside and I can select this, let's say I will put up to like 30 or something. And now we will see this. So see now. And here now the cloth is not looking proper. Here there are some harder edges here. So in order to make it smooth, we can take vellum post process. So this will take a vellum post process and connect this. And this we can enable this. Now see the cloth has become smooth. And now if I click on play, so now it's good. And also if you want to create subdivisions, so you can uh, select this loop here. So now it has been increased the subdivisions. So now we'll get more realistic here and now here uh, when we go to this edge factor so here uh, it's randomly like creating the pieces uh, so if you want you can create your own pieces so in order to do that just first we will disable this initial pieces and i will enable this primitive piece attribute here so we can draw the curve on this plane so that according to your requirement we can create your own pieces a uh, way to tear the cloth so in order to do that we can take a node call draw curve so we need to select this and here you can see for edge fracture you will have an option called fracture curve so we need to connect to this edge uh, fracture curves here and just i will disable all these things in the draw curve so i will disable this create width color and this stroke attribute and now in order to draw the curve on here uh, so we need to select the uh, we need to select the curve node and just we need to press enter so that we can draw the curve so just we can left click and drag according to your requirements so see now it has been automatically created the separate piece here and you can make a multiple uh, curves on this uh, so if you select this and if you press enter so first i will rotate this properly okay so now if i select this and if i press enter you can create the curve over here and just click on select this in this way and now suppose if i enable this edge fracture uh, visualizer so now you can see it has been created as separate pieces. And now we'll see the results. So I will disable this, uh, this primitive piece. And just will come down to the post process and just will select this and we'll play. So see now we got the result. So now it has been paired uh, where we have created the, so in this way we can tear the cloth. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.